Are non-Jews included in the commandment to procreate? Being that the commandment to procreate precedes the revelation at Sinai, it would therefore follow that it is incumbent on all of mankind. This is in fact the opinion of Shiltot, the earliest post-Talmudic work of Jewish law, and is implied by the Talmud in Tractate Yevamot. However, the Talmud in Tractate Sanhedrin takes it for granted that non-Jews no longer fall under this obligation. The reason why they are exempt, despite the fact that the commandment was given to all of mankind, is because there is a rule that any commandment that was taught before the revelation at Sinai and not repeated afterwards applies only to the Jews and not to non-Jews. The opinion of the Talmud in Sanhedrin is considered to be normative and the vast majority of commentators and authorities are of the opinion that non-Jews are not obligated in the mitzvah of procreation. That being said, even amongst these authorities there are many who maintain that non-Jews are nonetheless still obligated to procreate by the rabbinic precept articulated by Isaiah to keep the world inhabited. This was also the opinion of the Lupovitcher Rebbe in a talk he delivered in 1980 as part of a series of talks encouraging families to prioritize raising children above financial and career considerations. The Rebbe explicitly included non-Jews as well, emphasizing that they too are obligated to prioritize the civilized habitation of the world. Moreover, as with all universal mitzvahs, it is the Jews' obligation to encourage the general population in this regard. Around the same time, the previous Sadagora Rebbe visited the Lubavitcher Rebbe and mentioned his concern that the benefits given by the Israeli government to encourage large families would be given to Arab families as well. The Rebbe responded that since non-Jews are also obligated to keep the world inhabited, we as Jews should not withhold funding which will encourage them to procreate. When the Sadagora Rebbe pointed out that a growing Arab population could lead to a serious threat to the safety of the Jewish population, the Rebbe responded that such considerations did not absolve Jews of their obligation to encourage and aid non-Jews in their obligation to raise children. <laughs>